Let's challenge any group. We must challenge any group that threatens to constrain our freedom and threatens to exploit us. And that does not include any other group. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, that nations and people do not have permanent friends. They only have permanent interest. And the people who are your allies today can be your enemies tomorrow. And we, and you must keep that in mind because there are some of us who are deceived in this direction as well. I hear a lot of blacks use the word black and Latino constantly. We are related, yes, but there are also differences. And these differences can be exploited at different times. Some of you, if you'd looked at 13 last week or so when they were running a series of programs on uh, the Spanish in America, you might have seen one particular program open up that says, we, we will no longer help the blacks in Los Angeles. We will no longer support the gringos and the Jews. We are now 40% of Los Angeles County and we intend to control this city. We will no longer be told what slice of the pie that we will get. We will tell how the pie is to be divided. You must come to your realistic sense. Nations and people do not fall in love. They do not marry each other. Because see, we have some foolish people out here who look at their personal relations with white folk. And they have good white friends. And I'm not doubting the sincerity of the friendship. Not at all. Not at all. I do not doubt that blacks and whites can be truly friendly. And we should be friendly as people. And I don't see any problem with having those friends, you know. But do not confuse your personal relations with the relations between groups. Do not always assume that the dynamics that determine your personal relationships can, are the same dynamics that can be used between groups. That's a serious error that a lot of people make, you see. So they have a lot of personal friends who belong to other ethnic groups, and that's fine. So do I. But you can't confuse those. You know, you